Hi, scrolling along with Susan here. Hey, I'm going to be trying a couple different things here for the next four or five videos. Now, I'm a guitarist and I like to sing, so I play guitar and sing. And I love stringed instruments and I love rhythm instruments. And I thought, you know what, it'd be kind of fun to use my scroll saw as my main tool to make some of these. So I thought, okay, first thing I'm going to do is an easy rasp. It's one of those things where you run a piece of wood against another piece of wood and it makes a little raspy sound on it. And that will be my first simple project. I'm going to make that out of cherry. And I have some drawings of some other things, a thumb piano. I thought, okay, maybe I'll make that out of a guitar looking um, shape. It's also called a kalimba. And I like uh, lyra harps. So I'm going to be making one of those out of cherry and also using maple. I know it's quite adventurous here. I hope it all works out. We'll see. If I make a mistake, I'll learn from it and move on from there. And I'll also be making a um, tongue drum. And I attempted one years ago. And I made this out of three quarter inch thick oak. And it just didn't sound right. I really didn't know what I was doing. So I'm going to make one of those and give it another try. So I hope you enjoy some of these projects. Here's my piece of wood that I'll be using for the rasp. It is a piece of cherry that's a little over an inch thick on both sides and it's 15 inches long and I'm going to have the rasp part start at about nine inches so I have a nice big handle to hold on to and I'm going to come in at a half an inch and round over these edges to make them look a little prettier. And I'm going to have it be zigzagged about every quarter of an inch. You do not have to use cherry. You can use any hardwood. Uh, softwoods would work too. Each one of them is going to have a little bit of a different sound to them. So I'm using my marking tool here at a half an inch deep and just drawing a line so I know how deep I'm going to go. And then every eighth of an inch, I'll be marking it off. And then we'll take it down to the line. All right, so again, this is a quarter of an inch deep. I marked an eighth of an inch dots on the bottom part and eighth of an inch dot on the top part. And then I did little V's, which actually makes the opening about a quarter of an inch on top instead of an eighth of an inch. And I think that's gonna be plenty to get the sound that I'm looking for. And since I'm using an inch and eighth thick hardwood, I went ahead and I'm going to make it two-sided to have two different sounds. So again, a quarter of an inch deep, and I marked this every three quarters of an inch, little dots. And then as you can see, I just did little half circles. So this will be a little bit different sound than the um, very blunt uh, Vs on this side. If you use softwoods, I'm not sure you can do a two-sided rasp because you would not have too much material left over to give support for the cutouts and it may break in two. But if you're using hardwoods, it'll be fine. Always use a brand new blade for your project. On this one, I'm using a, a, a scroll reverse seven, number seven Flying Dutchman. Any would work. You could probably go to a size five, but since it's a bit of a hard wood, I decided to go up to a size seven and it's not super intricate, so it should work just fine. I already did a couple cuts on this and then I realized that you really couldn't see what I was doing because my hand was in the way. So I'll be doing another one and hopefully you can see a little bit better with this angle. So nice and slow. Back out of it. 
you can, and you can stop or you can just keep going and cut from the other side. And then you have your nice sharp point and you just continue all the way through. Well, I decided to do another V at the very end so it would go all the way through with this sound. Now I'm ready to do the other side and I'm going to use a brand new blade because this is hardwood and my blade is already dull from doing the V's. So I'll be putting a new blade in and then we'll do the half circles. Okay, I could come into each point and back out like I did these points over here, but I am just going to turn my blade, or when I turn my piece, keep it towards the back part of the flat part of the blade so it doesn't cut like a U shape and it's, and it's kind of sharp. So let me show you what I mean. Even with that new blade, the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven were fine, and you can see my blade started getting hotter and it was burning the wood just a little bit. But I'll be sanding those um, to make them look a little nicer. But there I've got both sides done. I did not mention this at the beginning of the video, but make sure that you start out with a piece of wood that's already been sanded and it's ready to go. And then your final sanding, like you're seeing me do here, if you have equipment, other special equipment to sand, use that. If not, then you can hand sand the whole piece, but it will make it go a little bit easier if you already start out with a nice piece of sanded wood. And take your time and make sure you have everything exactly like you like it before you start sealing it. Once you've gotten your piece sanded to the way that you like it, I have nice rounded um, corners here so that's a nice handle to hold on to. And I've wiped off all the extra sawdust and I'm ready to seal it. Now I strongly suggest mineral oil for this, um, especially if you're going to be having children play this. You want it safe, non-toxic. If children are not going to play it, you can finish it wherever way you want. But sometimes, when depending on what you use, it will also affect the sound of your instrument. So keep that in mind. And this is just a real pretty um, cherry, so I am just using mineral oil to finish it off. Here we are with our final project. If you are just beginning to learn to scroll saw, this is a really good project on um, with pine, something easy to cut to practice your V's and your shapes. So here we are with a dowel rod and a just a piece of hardwood stick, so you can hear. And then with dowel rod. And here's the other side. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you like what you see, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.